Hi there, and welcome to 3D Printing Geek. My name is Tom, and in this video I will give you useful tips and explanations to get successful in printing TPU, what is TPU, setting up a profile in Cura, and showing you the results of prints done with that profile. Don't forget to subscribe to stay informed about my upcoming videos. TPU, which is the abbreviation for thermoplastic polyurethane, is an elastic polymer with very interesting physical properties. It has high thermal stability and a good resistance against chemicals. Furthermore, it is extremely resistant to tear, wear and dynamic loading and has good abrasive properties. Because of these properties 3D printed TPU parts can be compressed and flexed easily to a much higher degree than other commonly used materials like PLA or PTG or ABS. TPU parts can withstand temperatures of up to 80 degrees Celsius, which is higher than PLA, which is between 55 to 60 degrees Celsius, almost the same than PTG and a little bit lower than ABS, which is approximately around 95 to 110 degrees Celsius. Why is printing TPU a problem for a Bowden system? To get the filament to the heated nozzle on a Bowden printer, an extruder pushes the filament through a lengthy PTFE tube. Since TPU is flexible, it gets compressed when pushed in and stretched when pulled back during the retractions. That makes it hard for any slicer software to predict the amount of material that is extruded in a move. Furthermore, it can happen that the filament winds up around the extruder gear. I took a close look at my Eligio Neptune 2 to get a guess if I could try printing TPU. The Bowden tube is not too long, so that might be not a problem. Then I checked the extruder and thought that it looked not as promising because of its very simple design. Nevertheless, I decided to give it a try and as you'll see throughout the video, it works. Let's start setting up an initial profile in Cura, which we then tune to get nice prints. I begin with a default profile, which is good for PLA, but will almost lead to failures with TPU. The filament used is Filamentum Flexville TPU 92A Red, which is, in my opinion, almost the softest possible for a Bowden printer. If you have other TPU, then adjust some of the settings according to the manufacturer's recommendations. The first thing to take care of is the printing speed. Flexible filaments like TPU need a much slower speed than rigid filaments. Getting slow is crucial to get good results with TPU on Bowden printers. The recommended printing speed for flexible TPU is between 10 to 30 mm per second. Therefore, I will set the printing speed in Cura to 15 mm per second and 7.5 mm per second for the first two layers to begin with. TPU can be printed on cold baths, but I prefer to set the temperature of my heat bed to 50 degrees Celsius, which worked always fine for me. Here you can see the printing temperature for the build plate is set to 50 degrees Celsius. The infill can be left at 15%. Retraction is problematic with flex filaments and therefore I turn it off. To find the setting for retraction I use a search box. And here I turn the retraction off. If necessary uh, you can start experimenting with very uh, low retraction settings later on. 7 mm is much too high. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going uh, more than 2 to 3 mm per second and also reduce the retraction speed to around uh, 20 to 40 mm per second uh, at the maximum. But here I recommend to turn it off. TPU needs almost no cooling and I will turn off the cooling as well.
If there are bridging problems, a slight amount of cooling can be added later on, but it shouldn't be more than 30 to 50 percent of the nominal speed. The next two things are very important and will save you a lot of trouble and work. Don't use supports and don't use brims with or rafts with TPU. Both the support and the brim will weld so well to the model that you'll have a hard time to get them separated from the model. You'll end up in cutting them away and risking to tear your model apart. Therefore, I suggest a setting build plate adhesion type to skirt, which is good, but never use brim or raft. And also check that supports are disabled. If they are enabled, then disable them. My TPU's printing temperature range is between 200 degrees and 220 degrees Celsius. To find out the right temperature, I will set up a temperature tower going from 200 degrees Celsius up to 225 degrees Celsius. This will help me to get the best temperature to use with my printer. I use a smart temperature tower from Thingiverse. I put the link down in the description. If you want to know how to build your own temperature tower, then subscribe to see it in one of my upcoming videos. Looking at the temperature tower shows that uh, the best temperature to print is probably 215 degrees Celsius, which I will choose for my custom TPU profile to do the next print. So let's do a calibration cube now. The cube, which came out, has a very nice finish and feels very smooth and it can also be compressed a little bit. And um, let's check the dimensions. I will take my digital calipers and then get a measurement in x direction showing 19.6 and the same in y direction 19.6 and in z direction almost 20 And that's fine. After having this nice little cube, I also wanted to see how the Voronoi ball is doing when printed without support. So let's see that. And here's a ball printed without supports and it uh, came out very nice. I scaled it down um, a little bit uh, to reduce the printing time, but that's a nice result. And finally, I was curious to see um, how a vase mode print would look like with um, TPU. Here's the base, how it came out using Octolabs to do the time lapse uh, of the print. And as you can see, there are small holes all over the surface and also the top didn't come out it uh, has some loose layers uh, the reason for the holes and for the bed um, top is uh, yes I, I would say the reason is uh, the octolabs because when the print head moves to do a time-lapse shot it uh, drags the thin and soft material with it and 
when it uh, moves back to start over printing, then you have those gaps. And therefore, I did exactly the same print, but now without Octolabs, and let's see what I got there. Here's the same vase done without Octolabs, and as you can see, there are no holes, and it's very, very nice. I like the re reflections uh, very much, and as you can see, it's nice and soft. I also tried uh, to test if it is watertight, and it's almost. I think uh, with some tuning, I could get even a watertight TPU soft waves. If you enjoyed the video, then please subscribe to my channel and share it with others. It costs absolutely nothing and will keep you informed about my upcoming videos and the interesting things I'm currently working on.